meet Jeeta Valingam, Coimbatore's Jao Mitai man. He is among the last few sellers of the popular candy in Tamil Nadu. The first step in making Jao Mitai is boiling the sugar syrup. Tavalingam adds 1.25 kg of sugar, 2 tumblers of water and the juice of 2 lemons into an aluminium container. He gives this a good stir and places the mixture on his towel and lets it simmer for 20 minutes to half an hour. Once the syrup is thick to the consistency of honey, he pinches a little to test it by rolling it into a pea-sized ball. Tavalingam tips it onto a plate greased with groundnut oil and lets it cool. He then stretches it repeatedly, pulling it like elastic until it becomes a pearl-white rubbery mass. He then shapes it into a gigantic rectangle. He takes a little of this candy, adds pink food colour and makes a long strip of pink candy that he sticks in between the white one. Tavalingam says Jao Mitai has its origins in Mumbai. The late Kannu Chami from Coimbatore was also the first to learn the craft. Tavalingam adds that most Jao Mitai makers in the city follow Kannu Chami's methods. Apart from the colour and taste, an attractive feature of the Jao Mitai is that it comes in various shapes and sizes. Another variant of the Jao Mitai is hard and solid cut into small cubes of pink, yellow and deep brown sold in cane baskets with a typical kerosene lamp by roadside vendors. And Jao Mitai squares and plastic wrappers are also sold at shops. After two years of unpredictability due to the pandemic, several men who sold the candy have either retired or moved on to other jobs. But that hasn't stopped Tavalingam from continuing to do what he's best known for. <laughs>